Hello everyone, here's my video for you guys to get the um, official Mama Eye theme working for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, first of all you guys, you have to install several programs onto your uh, device. I have all the programs listed in the sidebar for you guys. You have to download uh, three uh, three files right here. Okay, they're called the New Spring Jumps file, the More Duck Icons file, and the Mama Eye uh, theme itself. Okay, you guys. Now, once you do have everything installed, just go ahead and start with the process. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and the first program we're going to open is going to be Spring Jumps. Okay, Spring Jumps. Okay, guys. Now, once we open Spring Jumps, you're going to jump icons, and you're going to label. Oh, I'm sorry. Enable uh, zero through five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to close it. And then your phone should uh it should respring. Now we're gonna go ahead and we have to SSH the file you downloaded the new Spring Jumps file. It's gonna come in a zip file. You have to go ahead and extract it and it's gonna open like this. And once you open it, you're gonna see tons of files, shortcuts and whatnot. That's fine. Okay? So the SSH we have to open SSH to go to the root folder so you guys can see. Okay, this is a root folder right here. We're gonna head to applications. Okay, this is the first one. Hit applications, and then you're gonna open the new Spring Jumps. You can open it on here or inside the program itself. It doesn't really matter. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and copy all of them, and you're gonna drag it over to applications and the SSH folder. And that's it. Okay, you guys. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna respring, and once you respring it. You should have tons of these files like this. Like uh zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero, one, two, three, four, five. You see like that. Okay you guys? Now go ahead and right now and uh put it like this. Put all the uh spring jumps in order. So you're gonna have the zero on the bottom and you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five uh several times on the top. Like that, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Like that. You're gonna have, I think, it's six pages of it. Five. Okay, guys. Go ahead and do all those pages. Okay. And all at the zero is at the bottom. It's gonna be in the dock. And that's it. Okay, guys. Now we have to make some blanks. Uh, first of all, go ahead and try and put uh or put the weather icon after here on the first on the first page. Put it right there. And then we're gonna have to make some blanks. So let's use eye blank, which you did install from the list I have in the sidebar. Let's so open eye blank. Okay. There's eye blank. And we're gonna make uh I made twenty five. Okay, so do sixteen and then do nine. And then when you close it it's gonna respring. Okay? And then you should have tons of blanks like this. You see that? Tons of little blanks everywhere. Okay now this is very important. You have to put the blanks just like you have see right here. So you're gonna put the springs on the top, and then you're gonna put the weather, and then you put four blanks, and you're gonna put I put if you want the theme like mines, put the stack right here. And then right here, um this is optional. I put these programs right here because I want them on the front page. But normally uh most people they just have blanks as well. So you can put these uh, three right here, blank as, blanks as well, and then you can put the clock, and then put four more blanks right here, and then put the calendar, and all these five are going to be blanks. So just make sure you have a setup like this, okay? Ignore these three programs and just put blanks instead of all uh, these right here. So you're going to have four blanks right here, one stack, uh, the program, you're going to have three blanks, the clock, four blanks, the calendar, and five blanks, and that's it. Okay, you guys. Now we have to go ahead and get the theme over to your uh, device. So let's go ahead and open one SCP, and let's go ahead and the theme, which is right here. I'm gonna go to the root folder, go into library uh, themes. This is where you have all your stuff downloaded from Winterboard. So basically, all you have to do is go ahead and copy the theme to the uh, Winterboard uh, program, which is of course, we'll go back for you guys. Library and themes, and then make sure once you double-click the uh, on the i theme right here, you can see that it has 
the icons and all the uh, stuff in here just like this. You just go ahead and drag it in here, you guys. Make sure you drag it into the actual directory, not into a folder by mistake. If not, you won't see it in Winsubor when you activate it. Okay? So drag it like that. And then that's about it. Now, you guys, now all you have to do now is go, once you pass it, you go inside here. Okay? And we're going to delete the icons folder inside from make sure you delete it from the SSA from the device not from your desktop or wherever you have it installed so delete the icon folder you're still gonna have it in here so that's fine delete it for now okay and then we're gonna go to winterboard okay winterboard then we're going to enable the theme hit home and it's gonna respring itself Okay, I'm gonna have to connect the VNC again. Just give it a second for the load up. Still respringing. Okay, guys, it just resprung right now, and then let's go ahead and unlock it. And you should have something similar to this. Remember, ignore these three things right here. Okay, ignore those three programs. You should have the stack all uh, right here. You should have the icons right here, and you should have everything up here. Okay, guys. Now, make sure you have. Make sure you do have your uh, your theme on the top as well. Okay to avoid any type of um, interference with other themes and whatnot. Make sure you have it on the top. Okay guys. Alright. Now let's go ahead you guys and you're probably not gonna have the icons down here looking like this. So let's go ahead and get the icons back into the SSH uh, folder that we removed before. So go ahead and go back to your library and themes and go ahead and go uh, into the mod my eye theme and open the file you downloaded right here and go ahead and download I'm sorry upload the icons folder into here which it should, you should have deleted it before and then also go ahead and pass the doc icons into that folder right here okay just pass it into there that's it Okay, guys. Now, once you do that, you're gonna go back to your respring. You're gonna respring. And once you do load up, make sure you go into your blanks. So we're gonna hold any of them and just delete all the blanks that you don't see uh, that you need at the moment. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Just go ahead and delete all the blanks you have here. If you have any blanks left over, you should have some left over. And delete the ones that you don't need from any of the uh, pages. Okay? Alright, guys. Now, once you do all that, it's just a matter of customizing the RSS and getting the weather up. And that's about it, you guys. You, you are going to be done for this theme. Now, you just have to go ahead and SSH into your iPhone again to modify your weather. Uh, to get your weather from from where you're at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover that the weather and the RSS in part two since it's already getting uh, to be a pretty lengthy video, and I will show you guys how to get the weather and the RSS set up for it. Okay, guys, uh, thank you.